It was not our strongest weekend, of course, but it's important that now we just you know analyze everything and uh, step by step. I think uh, we'll uh, we'll get there, but there's also no real uh, real rush. I mean, you know, Singapore is so so different to what we will experience here in terms of the way you set up the car. So I'm also not worried that a weekend like that will upset our weekend here. Are all indications from the simulator, etc., that it'll be business as normal back to the front here? It felt very nice on the simulator, and normally that's a good indication when everything qu comes quite easy. Um, so, yeah, I hope, of course, that it's going to be exactly the, the same in real life. We still don't understand fully what went wrong or what went so wrong in, in Singapore. Uh, we have some ideas, but uh, certainly this track is very different, so there should not be a reason why not to be strong in, uh, in Suzuka. Actually, this should be one of the best uh, circuits for us. I would think that if they're not 30 seconds ahead like they have done in the past, then something's <laughs> up. But no, uh, I think that, as Checo said, it was obviously a difficult weekend, the last one, but that, that car should be phenomenal here. Um, it, they've, done, they've been phenomenal all year long. Um, they've aced pretty much every circuit. This weekend, yeah, I don't anticipate having the performance we had in the, next ra in the last race, but we've, we've worked very hard to, um, to we're con continuing to try and push in the envelope that we have. So I'm, I'm hoping that we're not terribly far off this weekend. We had some high hopes, but uh, yeah, the race was a little bit, uh, yeah, everything wrong for us. And um, we discovered some, some damage on the car uh, from lap two already, uh, we had that damage. so. That explain a little bit the the performance on on the race. So yeah, I'm I'm more confident into this this weekend after uh, knowing that. And uh, yeah, we hopefully are fast again. I can tell you I had fun and uh, with the, the whole team, um, mechanics, engineers. It was a, a, a night uh, to celebrate. It was a short night because we finished at the track at 2 a.m. from uh, the debrief and everything. So it's not like you got a lot of time to to go out, but we definitely had uh, tons of fun and it was great to see the team in, in good form and enjoying their day after what's been, you not know, going to hide, a difficult year, a, a year that it's been obviously tough for everyone and to give them a, a, a good reason to celebrate was a, a, a good moment. Such a strong run of form for you. What do you put that down to personally? Was it a good summer break? Is it the car just moving a little bit towards you? No, just putting things together is not honestly, I don't feel like the car has come anywhere near what um, what I want or what I like, apart from obviously work, working on setup tweaks and things that could help me and, and my, my my own driving, what I want from the car, but um, the car is still a tricky car to drive. It's still a, a, a car that it hasn't given us an easy time this year. We will, I think as soon as we go back to windy situations, long corners, uh, I think we will still uh, struggle a bit, but um, it's a car that we, in any given day, can make a pole position now and then, like we saw in Baku with Charles, Monaco, Nili, and uh, Singapore and Monza, and we can still give us some some good moments that I'm willing to to try and get again. I think Monza, we kind of expected to be uh, to be fast. In Singapore, we did not expect to be fast. So uh, I hope it can be a good surprise here too and uh, be as competitive as we were in Singapore. Uh, but I'm not sure. It's very difficult to understand this year. I mean, if you look Red Bull also, which have been extremely consistent the whole year in Singapore, they struggled a lot. And then all of the other teams are quite inconsistent throughout the, the, the year. So difficult to uh, to know exactly what will happen here. I think in any moment of disappointment or failure or whatever you want to call it, you need to, to take the positives away. Um, I had a nice phone call from one of the, the, the chief engineers basically saying, you know, George, the only reason we had a chance of victory this weekend was because of the amazing job you did the whole weekend. Um, you know, these things happen, we're pushing ourselves above and beyond. We went all in for the win and um, a street circuit bites when you're when you make a mistake by one or two centimetres. So I'm not going let, to let it affect me. Uh, it's history. Looking forward now to the rest of the year. I think Red Bull will probably be dominant this weekend. Um, but I think comparing us to Ferrari and Mercedes, Mercedes has still been just a lot more consistent than, than what we have. We still fluctuated quite a bit. Uh, on a good weekend, we can be very, very good and maybe a little bit ahead like we've seen in Silverstone and things like that. But um, on the whole, Mercedes have probably been uh, the second best car this season. Um, then Ferrari and then, then us so far. So we're, we're getting there, but it's still a very different circuit to Singapore with these upgrades. So there's still things for us to, to find out and, and analyze from, from Suzuka. 
yeah, I'm feeling good. And the, the boys did a great job at rebuilding the car, so um, sights are set on this weekend. We had a Fernando saying after the race that it had been generally a poor race for Aston Martin. He had a big debrief to do. Are you confident that it was just a blip and that we'll be back to sort of normal service here? Yeah, it was a tough weekend, but, um, you know, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Great track and, uh, you know, um, very different track to Singapore. So we'll see how we go. What I can feel inside the team, there is a huge, um, you know, motivation. There is a lot of positive energy driven from the, the good and the strong race weekends we, we've had lately. And um, I really want to keep that momentum going forward. Um, Suzuka is a very different track, uh, a lot longer straights, high speed corners, so we'll have to see how the car um, operates this weekend, but uh, yeah, I want to see how we go on Friday and then we'll, we'll, we'll have a better and clearer idea um, where we stand uh, after tomorrow. Oscar, you've just extended your contract with McLaren, give us your thoughts. Yeah, obviously very happy to, to have that uh, announced already, um, you know, it was, was uh, already around for next year, but uh, to, to announce it for the end of 26 now is, is very exciting. Very happy to have my, my future secured for a long time uh, in Papaya, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's always nice to have a sense of security, and I think for me it made sense from, from my point of view, from the team's point of view as well. So, um, yeah, just that longevity and continuation together is uh, yeah, nice confidence for us all. I was very happy with, with the performance that, that we had. Uh, obviously, a premature end to uh, our day and, and my birthday, so that didn't feel too great. But, you know, we come here, um, a track that I love uh, so much. Had a great fight with, with Lewis last year, finished fourth as well. So, you know, it's usually a track that gives us, um, you know, great uh, performance. And I hope that we can, you know, repeat uh, kind of the same weekend you know we're going into Suzuka now a track that should play a bit more um, into our car but uh, but yeah it, w it was a bit of a I think it was more disappointing more because we didn't have many hopes going into Singapore last week and to be in a position where we could have almost scored points was um, was uh, exciting and then I think um, normally as long as we kept it on track um, we would have scored some points but uh, but we didn't I think it's quite challenging uh, for us here this weekend. Singapore last week, I think, was definitely one of our you know stronger weekends, uh, especially recently. Uh, I think here this weekend, obviously, quite different track characteristics, and I think they will they will challenge us. It's a great track to drive, and yeah, have great memories here. And um, yeah, it's just good fun, you know, the flow it offers, and like everyone explained already, you know, the fans and everything combined, it's uh, truly truly unique Grand Prix. Obviously, being here only one time last season, the first time here. So coming back here is, is a special place. Not much dry running last year, so really looking forward to uh, finally to you know use the downforce of these Formula One cars to drive here. But I would say it's definitely you know in the top five ish, because uh, obviously the track is very flowing. I love high speed tracks, and Suzuka is a perfect example and uh, old school as well in the same time. No error for mistake, which is always very exciting. Always a surprise here, you know, amount of people uh, supporting Formula One, because to be honest, it's hard to know uh, exactly the amount of people uh, watching Formula One from Japan. But yeah, even yesterday and even two days before, I went to Tokyo and did a couple of um, uh, promotions and those stuff. And I saw lots of Formula One fans here and just, you know, the, I got, I, I feel, I got really warm welcome from them. So, yeah, it's um, it's nice to be here and uh, looking forward to it. Often with with our car, we we're able to to do good qualifyings, but then in in the race it's going to be, it's always harder. Here, I even expect it to be difficult in qualifying, um, and then still even even more difficult in the race, because the the layout is is, um, you know, probably the worst one of the worst places for us but uh, we'll see I mean we have been surprised before so hopefully we can uh, we can be surprised again it's been very very cool obviously the last couple of races um, we're just I think gradually building up and Singapore obviously was was definitely the highlights um, but obviously now coming here it's it's very very different um, it'll be a whole a whole nother learning experience this weekend but um, I'm, I'm obviously really enjoying it so far it's not ideal of course um, you know, I think I did a good job of compartmentalizing that in the race. Um, you know, I got straight back out there on, you know, my next two stints were, were solid considering, you know, I had some, I had some damage to the car and um, you know, I was quite proud how I was able to just completely forget about it within, 
you know, a lap and, um, you know, get back to it. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, I was happy with how the, the back, back half of the race went, never gave up, and um, I'll carry that into this weekend, um, you know, keep believing and um, just try and be better this weekend.